this is the Phantom Minis YouTube channel and this week I am doing uh, some unboxings again as I have been fortunate enough to get my hands on a Gar Saxon Commander expansion and a Shadow Collective starter set which is never going to fit in frame but we'll cope, we'll, ma we'll manage. Um, so I held off to start with uh, on the previous one of the previous videos. You saw me opening the upgrade card pack two, which is what I was expecting to purchase from the mercenary wave that we've had with Star Wars Legion, uh, and I was not expecting to get uh, any of the Gar Saxon or mercenary stuff for a while. However, I got a very fortunate uh, opportunity with someone who'd bought in and then immediately decided that was a bad idea and wanted to get out of um, the purchase. So gave me an option. So here we go. Um, ah. Consistently these unboxing videos show that I am bad at open boxes, which is um, fun if nothing else. Okay. So once again, fantastic artwork. Uh, they've been absolutely smashing it uh, with the art and the way the boxes are and the lack of plastic uh, should be commended. Uh, cardboard on cardboard is the way to go. Um, as hobbyists and gamers we have so much plastic and then again we get a poster which I'm really happy about I'm gonna see if my local shop wants to take all of my posters because I just don't have the space at home I think it'd be super cool to put all of these posters up on the wall and show that we play Legion locally and hopefully encourage more people to play Legion which I'd much rather than just having a poster at home. Uh, once again on the back, uh, there's a QR code to show you how to assemble it, which I know there's a bit of furore about the fact that it's now a QR code, but it's fine. Like, I would slightly prefer all of this to be the QR code and like how to build it just to be there, because I don't need to know who made this, that's of no use to me. Um, but how to make the model might be useful for people, so hey ho. Uh, at least it shows like what Gar Saxon can look like, so that's fine. But in general, I like posters, so it's a win on the poster. You got me on posters. Uh, let's put that. I don't actually know where the other poster went. It'll be in here somewhere. Uh, the sprue. I'm not gonna ding it open right now. I've got so much to do, uh, but looks pretty cool. Uh, we've got multiple options again, which is great. So that's good. Uh, base. Right, so we should be missing one card, which is the shield, I think. Um, yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so we get uh, the rifle. Uh, so Gar Saxon comes with two armament choices um, that he can pick on his uh, choices. However, he comes... Hang on, we'll just show the card a bit easier. So he has two here, but there are three options. So he's got rockets, which reload, which is cool because the regular rockets don't reload. Um, he's got a flame projector, which is a one use, and he has the rifle, which is probably the way to go based on his command cards. Uh, an extra copy of Up Close and Personal, which is awesome, uh, because you get four, I think, in the upgrade packs. So that's five. Emergency transponder, pretty solid. Prepared supplies great because that's I think we're up to five now if you got the uh, and then endurance is much of a muchness um, but yeah these prepared supplies are pretty awesome I had a go with the upgrade card pack and ran um, rebels with everyone had prepared supplies uh, just across the board uh, so that um, yeah on the first shot every unit took in the game they already had a a dodge token they could take and the nimble troopers we could then just keep it and you know add vigilance in it was good really good fun um so gar saxon himself you've mostly seen this but if you haven't that's what the card looks like and then here's one pip so gains two aims choose an enemy um commander or um ah i've forgotten the word that one it'll come back to me uh, that unit gains four observation tokens and two suppression tokens. Essentially, you want to snipe something, don't you? I think this might be fun to try as a turn one sniper because his gun has a long shot option 
So put those two together. In turn one, you can range five, double aim um, an enemy commander and put four obs on it and two suppression on it. So it's going to start the game in absolute problems. Uh, so you can spend the one aim to get extra range. You can spend an aim to gain pierce. You get all of this. It all looks pretty good. So that's fun. Um, that's what his tokens look like. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Right. The last time I did a video like this, I ended up getting my cards wet because I didn't put them back in the bag. And then I painted later, which was dumb. Okay. Here we go. Oh, hello. Yeah, so there's um, a print and play Gar Saxon shield. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what goes on there. Fifth Trooper have been sending cards out. I did ask for one, but I am in the UK and it hasn't arrived yet. So we will see. I do not have the ability at the moment to move my camera far enough away. So what we'll do... So once again, um, they should be commended on the lack of plastic. It's um, it's great that it's just a bit of cellophane around a cardboard box with a cardboard box insert. Again, a poster. Loving the posters. Again, tells you to go online to uh, figure out how to build them. Shows you what you can build. So as far as I can tell, you can have a unit with heavy weapon and leader, unit with heavy weapon and leader, a maul, a unit with rook cast leading, so one, two, three, four, and then a second unit. So you get one, two, three, four, four units, two troops, um, two special, and um, and a, oh, I can't remember the word, <laughs> operative, there we go, operative, and an operative as well. And obviously you can use these um, guys as, uh, as commanders if you want, but if you've got Gar Saxon, you've got, already got a commander. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So in one box you get, what, one, two, three, four, five, plus Gar Saxon, six. So you're up to six immediately. Add Bosk and Cad Bane, you've got an eight activation list. Or a bus um, in there instead. That's pretty awesome. Uh, once again, wouldn't hurt to have something that isn't playtested at the bottom, but whatever. It's fine. Lots of stuff. All right. So this makes sense because they need to give you enough to run what we just said. So troop, 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 troop. Not quite sure how that works. Because you can only ever build two troops. Okay, cool. Um, pass. Someone cleverer than me can figure that out. That's Maul. Capo, Vigo, spare, spare, spare. And then bus. I don't know. No, that's not bus. That's hmm. I don't know how that breaks down. Let's have a look. It feels like you should be able to make two lots of mall super commandos because you've got enough models to make two lots of mall super commandos. But if they haven't given you cards to make two lots, what's going on? Okay, that's a lot of... Alright. Yeah, Mandalorian Super Commandos is a three-person thing. In the box, you apparently get enough to make lots. Maybe you don't. Maybe it's just alternate poses. I don't know. So, Operative Maul makes sense. Mandalorian Super Commandos makes sense. Black Sun Enforcers makes sense. Vigo, Pike, Capo. Pass. Don't know what they're trying to do. Hmm. Anyway. So, Maul, 
one of the things about Maul here, uh, Geo Mastery does not, as far as I can tell, add um, the ability to get force powers back. So you have to recover to refresh your force powers, which makes him, unless he uses command cards, which are designed around that, um, very hard to get force powers back. Although you can start with a wound and do your mastery then allows you to do an extra thing, so I guess you could just recover that way, but that seems like a, um, what's it, the uh, Rick and Morty, uh, uh, the same outcome, just with extra steps. Why don't you just take a wound so that you can recover, move, hit, instead of just automatically recovering, move, hit. But, okay, whatever. Um, Super Commandos, they look awesome, I'm looking forward to playing with them. Uh, Black Sun Enforcers apparently very strong as well as the pike syndicate foot soldiers um yeah independent aim precise self-preservation dauntless these are all great abilities and that and that are like how about you're just a clone trooper at shorter range but better because you also have a scary close quarters and more things seems good um you also get friends so you can run cheap commanders more stuff. More stuff. It looks really good across the board, to be fair. Right. Um, we'll do command cards. Command cards. You've got ploy, aggression, discretion. This is helpful because these are the three cards I got wet. So uh, I'm happy that I've got three more that are not all horrible looking now. Uh, witch magic. So that's the maul. His eminence for maul. Sees what power we can for maul. And then jewel of the fates, phantom menace, and at last. I thought I was going to have to buy these separately, so I'm really happy they came in the box. So there's a confusing amount of things that I didn't expect to get that I've got, which is great, and some stuff that I wanted to get and I haven't got, which is less great. Um, but there we are. What are you going to do? Black Sun Enforcer. More Black Sun Vigo. These are just upgrades for your units. Magdet Enforcer, Scattergun Enforcer, Pike Syndicate Foot Soldier, Pike Syndicate Capo. Have I gone too fast? Hang on. One. Two. You should all be online as well. Tabletop Admiral is fully updated, so you can just go on and make lists. It's very cool. Uh, Super Commando Gunslinger. See, not taking Rook Cast is always going to be the problem. Because Rook Cast looks so cool. Also, Super Commando Jetpack Rockets. I'd like a range for red dice, thank you very much, with Blast, Critical 1, and Impact 1. So that against armor, you're just deadly. If you do that with four of them, four red dice into armor, that's, uh, that's a solid attack. So, Combat Shields. Seems good. So, Rook Cast. You get two wounds, you get Retinue Maul, and you're the leader, and you've got double red, double white. Um, and start the activation phase if you arrange once to a maul, gain an aim or a dodge. Fantastic. So maul and the Mandalorian, uh, Mandalorian super commandos or maul Deloreans, just having fun. Dark saber on maul, excellent. Just more attack. Why not? Anger, fear, force choke, saber throw, force push, improvised tenacity, hunter, HQ, recon, recon, targeting scoops, and frags. Literally from here that's all just whatever but yeah still good like it and the sculpts because i realize we're at 13 nearly 14 minutes try and fly through some sculpts try and briefly figure out what you get so yay the things that always break oh god that looks very complicated okay we got some mall i assume all of mall is on here try it figure that out. Oh! A bit of something fell off. Hmm. Okay. Don't know where that came from. Uh, so what's this? That has got to be one of the sets of foot soldiers. Is it the pikes? Or is it the black sun? Ah, it's the pikes, because they're the head. Nice. And then that'll be the other spree for the pikes, because they got the whips. Good. There's the black sun. There's the other black sun. So here, how many bodies do we get? What were they most likely to just give you the fewest of? Probably bodies. So there's one. Two. Three. 
four, five. I feel like you've got at least six. Hmm. So it's a three man squad. How many sets of legs do you have? Where's the le <laughs> I'm counting legs. One, two legs. Three legs, four legs, five legs, six legs, seven legs, eight legs. You've got eight legs, which means you've got four people. Oh, the joy of trying to work out how many bodies you can build. Well, we'll find out when we build them, but feels like you've probably got enough to make quite a lot but you obviously don't have enough cards or tokens to run more than one because you have literally one of these yeah. anyway still fun still happy uh, not that I'm have, gonna have any issue it's locally um, putting an extra um, Mandalorian down won't be a bother using a pretend card for practice games isn't gonna be a problem so whatever it's fine but for the purposes of uh, tournaments and the like you might have to buy a a second box oh no I'm sure someone buying into this will have fun uh, pretty happy all around uh, what a great set um, few like minor tweaks I'd make but nothing nothing huge uh, take more of this this seems to be a great way to go forwards with the game and um, yeah please carry on doing stuff like this we're liking this uh, in the UK this box is like 63 ish pounds roughly um, you know, with uh, depending on discounts from your retailer, your friendly local gaming store, if you got ten percent, whatever, stuff like that, around sixty quid, which that's a lot of stuff for sixty quid for a game. You can almost play an entire faction for sixty bucks, which is pretty cool. Uh, adding Gar Saxon isn't too difficult. Adding Bosk and Cab Bane as an option, um, just to make it more. Uh, apologies has been a fan on all the way through this video, so I'm going to double, double check the audio, but it is hot here in the UK, so. Uh, Got to try and keep cool somehow. And um, yeah, please like, subscribe videos uh, for more of this sort of content. Gonna try and keep flitting around. We're doing a bit of Legion, a bit of X-Wing. I've been playing in the XTC for X-Wing. I'm currently two wins um, out of three weeks because we had a bye week as well. So um, doing well there playing with uh, the Rebels. So been pretty fun. Uh, until next time, thank you for watching the Phantom Minis.